Hey you guys, thanks for coming to check out today's video. So please excuse my voice, I am a little bit congested today, but I did want to get this video out to you guys. So this is another one of my crochet wig tutorials, and I am using a braided wig cap. Um, this wig cap is the one that has the straight cornrows in the front. So this is the one you use if you don't want to bang, if you actually want like a part. Um, so I went ahead and used the main concept hair. This is their three times I define easy wave hair and it is pre-feathered. So you can use it as braiding hair, but today I'm just using it as crochet hair. So I really love using these wig caps, these crochet wig caps from Free Tress. They're so bomb because they really help you to know where you're placing the hair. It's almost like each row is a guide as to where you should put the hair, where the hair should go next. It just mimics more of when you have braids in your head and you're trying to gauge where to put the hair. So when I install my crochet wigs, I use this method like where it's almost like window panes. So they go like I install the hair in a row and then leave spaces. And then the next row, I fill in the space that I left on the top on the row above it so it's almost like every other space I fill in at the row above it I hope that makes sense but you can sort of see what I'm talking about right now in this little clip so wherever there's an empty space on the row below I put the hair on the row above now this is going to give you an extremely full look if you want a little less full look what you can do is use less hair or you can make bigger spaces so that's how you can gauge like how much hair to use. For this hair, I did use three packs. So that means three bundles in each pack. So three packs, that's nine bundles of hair to create this look. So it's definitely very full. I love the color. I think the color is a 950. It's so gorgeous the way it gradually goes from like the, 950, the 350 mixed in with the black and then it just goes fully into the 350. This color is really, really pretty. So once I got to the straight back cornrows at the top of the wig cap, I started using the invisible method. That's where you pull one side through the crochet needle instead of both. And it gives you more coverage over the um, braids and it just looks more seamless. So I did that at the top. Um, so my braids obviously are just going straight back. So what I did was put the wig on my head. I used bobby pins to secure it down so that it won't come off. Because this wig cap with the straight back cornrows does not have combs. It only has the adjustable strap. So I used the bobby pins and then I went ahead and added some crochet here where you can see my cornrow. So I just pulled a couple pieces of crochet here and just crocheted in three small pieces at the front to just give it more of a blending in with the wig and with the front of my head. I also went ahead and added some baby hairs and um yeah so definitely check out the rest of the video i'm gonna stop talking i will come back at the end and give my full review let me know what you guys think about this hair make sure you're subscribed and you're sharing these videos i feel like it's super helpful for someone who wants to do their hair at home so let me know what you guys think and stay tuned for the rest of the video i definitely have some good information for you guys at the end love you guys
morning you guys so this is what the unit looks like on it's absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous like this unit is stunning in every way the color the waves it's absolutely beautiful um yeah you guys I'm really loving this hair. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the wig is so easy to put on. You saw all I had to literally do was put in two pieces or three pieces like right in the front and then you're good to go. And this unit is flawless. Like I love it. So easy to make. Um, yeah, and you can take it off at night. So this is for my girls like me who want an affordable, cheap hairstyle that will also, um, that you don't have to sleep in. I always you know lend myself to styles that I don't necessarily have to sleep in or that I can really easily take out within two or three days that's why I love braidless crochet I love crochet hair and I love crochet wigs because the dollar amount is low to actually create them is not that e not that much effort and when you get ready to change your hairstyle you don't have to feel guilty or bad like just take it out sis and keep it moving or just take the wig off put it on your mannequin head and keep it pushing I love styles like this. So let me know what you guys think about this main concept hair. It's beautiful. It's soft. It's not tangling on me yet, but you know it's long. It's 50 inches long. Um, and so, you know, that's coming. But I just love the way this hair is made. I love how it's like pre-feathered. It thins it on its own self out at the bottom, so it makes less for work for you. I love this hair. Um, you can also braid this hair or twist this hair or do like passion twists, I guess. You could do a bunch of different twist styles on this hair, but I just like it the way it is. Let me know what you guys think. And once again, thank you, Main Concept, for sending over this hair. Make sure you guys check out my website justadragonness.com and make sure you guys are subscribed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.